связи. Hallelujah. It's an amazing time under heaven that you have an opportunity to repent, to have a change of mind from the way that you're living in your sin apart from Christ to turn to him. Come on. By the grace of God that it may be that you can be right with God, not on the basis of you being a good person, but on the basis of what Jesus Christ has done for all of us to bring you out of your sin and bring you to God. The only way you can get to God is through Jesus. It will not be through Buddha. It will not be through Allah. It will not be through the Hebrew Israelites or Jehovah Witnesses. It will not be any, it will not be through any door or any religion. It'll only be through Jesus. But the question on the floor is, is where are you going to spend eternity? Where is your soul and your spirit going to go? Because, my friends, there's only two destinations. One is heaven and the other one is hell. And I can't put you in either of those places. And we're coming out here compelling you, pleading with you to tell you to come out from among them. Come out from among your sin and come to the living God. Because there will be no opportunity for repentance. There will be no grace, there will be no mercy left if you die in your sins, God forbid. God is, God is so patient that his hand is stretched out wide to Little Rock with all the different places of murder and lying and cheating and stealing and things that are done behind closed doors as if God can't see the wickedness in the land. He's calling people unto himself. But will people be rebellious and prideful to say that you don't need God? Even running into some atheists that say that they don't need God. But yet you're breathing the same air that he's giving you. He's allowing your heart to even beat in your chest while you're driving. Going to the stores or going to your house or going to your job, whatever it is, God himself is good. And humanity is bad. The Bible is very clear that no one is good but God. See, people don't know that. See, people in America and sad to say some people in some churches think that they're good. My friends, nobody is good but God. Some people say, how is God good if he allows evil? How is God good if he allows people to go to hell? He's so good that he supplied his son that no man or woman will be without excuse. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that, that even God in his goodness, he sent his son to redeem you. But will you listen? Will you heed the words, not of my opinions or my own words, but the word of God alone? So we come to you. As the church, we come to you on the street corner to compel you. You don't need to say a prayer. Prayers don't get you into heaven. You need Jesus Christ. Jesus is the one that can open your eyes. Jesus is the one that calls you out of your sin to himself. If you're dead in your sins and you're outside of Christ, you could be resurrected by the resurrected Christ. If you're lost, you could be found by Jesus Christ. If you're blind, your eyes can be opened by Jesus Christ. If you're hopeless, you can find new hope in Christ. But you have to come to him. And Christ Jesus, he will never force himself upon you. You can either accept Jesus or reject him. But there's consequences with that, my friends. That the only way to salvation that leads to everlasting life and eternal life is only through the Son, Jesus. So if you deny the Son, the one that supplies salvation for sinners, you will spend eternity in hell. You can't pay for your sin. This is why the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is Jesus Christ. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He's the only one 
that can pay for your sin debt. Bill Gates and Warren Buffett will not be able to pay their sin debt. God isn't looking for money. God isn't looking for you to become a good person as if that's even possible. He's just calling men and women under heaven that have not yet repented to repent, to have a change of mind, to make a 180 from your sin, to turn to the living God while he may be found. Oh, but many people live as if, the, as if tomorrow is guaranteed. Many people live like the next five minutes of their life is guaranteed for them. You and I, we don't have the day on a calendar of the day that we're going to die, that we are all going to return to the dust. We were born in our mother's womb by ourself, and we will, we will return in that way. When we die, it will only be our soul and spirit lifting up out of our body, facing God. Will you be still in your sin, or will you be forgiven of your sins? Knowing that if you're still in your sins, hell is your destination. But if you repent, forgiveness of sins is for you, that your sins may be blotted out, that times of refreshing may be for you. Christ isn't looking for Christians, my friends. He's not looking for churchgoers. He's not looking for pew sitters. He's looking for disciples, the ones that will deny themselves and to pick up the cross and follow Jesus. He's calling people after him, not after a church denomination, not after me, not after a book by a popular uh, pastor. He's looking for you to follow him and him alone. That's how you're going to get in the gates. That's how you're going to get into the kingdom of God. But we plead with you to compel you to get right with God, not to come to our church or be a part of what we're doing. No, you need to come into the kingdom of God first. You need to come to Christ first. Christ has to change you. And then when Christ changes you, you have a new heart where you once were disobedient to God and now you're obedient. Now you love his word, now you love his presence because you were made for him anyway. You were made to disobey God and live apart from him. We were made to walk in fellowship with God. But because of Adam and his disobedience, it brought beef. It's called enmity. Brought beef before us and God. But Jesus Christ crushed the beef to bring us and reconcile us to him. And so we come to you that you would be ye reconciled back to God, Jesus the Christ. Repent and believe in him while he may be found. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, Desi Dance. Desi Dance. Praise God. Praise God. God has called us out. Come on, out. Desi Dance. He's called us out. We have to repent and turn back to the cross. God, look at the devil. But check this out. God has called us back to the cross. Repentance, back to the cross. See, God does not care how much money is in your pocket, how much money you've gave to a church. He doesn't care about money. It won't get you into heaven. He wants you to seek him with all of your heart and turn from your wicked ways. He wants us to call on him while he is near. I like to say this a lot because it shows you you don't have time. You don't know when you're going to die. You don't know if you're going to see tomorrow. You don't know if you're going to see the next five minutes. You can get in a car crash and die. Where will you go? Where will you spend eternity? Do you believe heaven and hell is real? Well, if you don't, I'm sorry, but you're foolish. God's coming back. He sent, a, he sent his son for our sins. He sent his son for the lost, the broken, the hopeless. But we all need a change of heart. We all need repentance. Our heart are, is rebellious to God, and that's why we follow our own, our own ways. That's why we follow man's traditions. But that's not going to get you into heaven. The only way you can get to heaven is through repentance, through Jesus Christ alone. He's the only way, the way, the truth, and the life. We follow our own. Okay, God, I'm going to do this for you, boo. God doesn't really care about that. Have you surrendered all to him? Have you hit your knees in repentance? Have you turned from your ways? 
because he's the only way. Our ways will not get us to the heaven. Matter of fact, a lot of a lot of uh, people say, oh, I'm a good person. I do good things. I'm going to make it to heaven. But he says our good deeds are as filthy as dirty rags. Come on, What G. does that mean? We're dirty. And I would be wrong. Your blood would be on my hand if I didn't come and tell you this. Your blood would be on my hand if I didn't come and speak the truth of Jesus Christ to you. If you, back again, he's the way, the truth, and the life. We can't lean on our own understanding. Why? It leads to death. Jesus Christ is the only way. He don't care how old you are. He's calling you out. He don't care how young you are. He's calling you out. Amen. One, repent. Two, turn from your wicked ways. Pick up your cross and follow Jesus Christ because he's the only way.